welcome and today we are going to be doing a pick a pile for the new moon the new moon in Libra so today we have a new moon in Libra bringing in obviously Libra season already started but truly bringing in Libra season hopefully bringing us some calm after the storm of the solar eclipse and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing new moon messages for all the zodiac signs. Just because some some people asked me the other day, all readings are for entertainment and spiritual purposes only. What you receive, whatever messages you receive, take what resonates, leave what does not. Remember, at the end of the day, this is what spirit sees um, for you, but you have the free will choice to change it. All right, so tonight we're going to be doing a new moon message, and it's going to be, it's interesting because today is the, what's the solar eclipse, and then we also have a new moon in Libra coming in. So, I was like, okay, well this is a great time to do a all zodiacs pick a pile message. So the way that this is going to work is I'm going to pick four zodiac signs for each pile. You don't have to pick your zodiac sign. Okay, this can apply to your uh, sun, moon, or rising, or whichever zodiac sign you feel most drawn to. Whenever you find this message, it's when you're meant to find it. It doesn't matter if you find it during the full moon in Libra. It's just that we're doing the message with the energy of the full moon in Libra. I'm sorry, new moon, not full moon. <laughs> the new moon in Libra and the solar eclipse energy. But just because you might find this message later on does not mean that it's not for you. All right, so... That goes for all of the pick a pile messages. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I have the 12 zodiac signs written on these index cards. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a pile. I'm gonna go ahead and pick four of them for each pile. We're gonna have four piles tonight, okay? Because there is, well, actually, no, we're gonna have three piles because I'm gonna pick four signs for each pile. So now the signs are not gonna be the same meaning they're not going to be fire, uh, earth, air, or water signs. They're just going to be mixed, whatever comes out for that pile. All right. Angels of the Collective, who is meant to receive this message, can you please give us the zodiac signs for pile number one? I mean, Angels of the Collective, who are meant to receive this Please give us the zodiac signs for pile number one. Pile number one. All right, pile number one, we got that one, got that one, that one, and that one. Okay, pile number one. I'm actually gonna select them first, and then we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you each pile. Pile number two, please. Angels of the Collective, and here we go. All right, pile number one. This pile may be for you if you are drawn to the energy of Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, or Taurus. Okay, that's kind of crazy because I think there's one of each... Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, there's two earths, an air, and a water sign in this pile. <laughs> I was about to say, did it just pick itself in, like, perfectly four elements? But no, it didn't. Okay, so if you are drawn to the energy of Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, or Taurus, then pile number one is for you. May have a message for you. Okay. That's pile number one. Drop your number down in the description if, or down in the comments, what I'm going to say. All right, pile number two. If you are drawn to the energies of Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, and Cancer. Interesting. That's a very interesting mix. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, and Cancer. That's a very interesting mix here. So, yeah. Remember, if you're drawn to any of those energies, you don't have to be those those signs, but if you're drawn to any of those 
energies. File number two may be for you. So Cancer, Libra, Scorpio, <coughs> or Sagittarius. And remember, we have more than the sun, our sun sign. So we have sun, moon, and rising signs. Plus we have the other signs in our zodiac chart as well. All right. Pile number three. This message may be for you if you are drawn to the energy of Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, or Aries. So these signs could either be your sun, moon, or rising, or there could be a person that is connected to these signs that is connected to you. Yes, Sylvia, I passed the plague on to her now unfortunately <laughs> all right all right y'all got your piles let's go ahead and get started all right angels of the collective what messages do you have for pile number one so pile number one remember you were drawn to the energies of taurus aquarius virgo and Pisces. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and see what message there is. <sighs> okay. I think this is a collective. What message do you have for pile number one? Alright, so we got here let's do some oracle cards and then we'll do some tarot. Alright, pile number one. Let's see. You have the Venus card. Beloved. Okay. This is interesting. Now Taurus rules over material things. Material and financial. Aquarius rules over innovation. Virgo rules over logic, and then Pisces is divinely guided. So let's over divine guidance, divine connection. So this is an interesting mix here. Because hmm. that in its own tells us a lot, especially with the energies of Libra, the Libra new moon, and the solar eclipse. Hmm. Okay. I'm getting from spirit um, pile number one that there are some things that you need to learn how to work together okay maybe you are a very spiritual person um, and a, or a very um, almost rose-colored glasses person and Spirit is saying you need to kind of start to look at things a little bit more realistically like a Taurus might. Or you may be the opposite. You might be a Taurus that is very, very like a Taurus or a Virgo that's very realistic, very into the material. And Spirit is asking you to look a little bit deep, to look at things with better perspective. So whichever of the, that resonates for you, that's your message there. interesting <laughs> okay this is funny because we have this is so funny because the ruling planet of Taurus is Venus and you got Venus and Taurus I just love the way spirit works you have Venus and Taurus And then you have sustainability, which is really interesting. Because to me, Aquarius is more about sustainability than other things, honestly. Even though that's not the sixth house. And then you have Virgo and Virgo. Okay, this is crazy. So pile number one, for some reason, Virgo is very important. Either you are a Virgo or... Um, there's a Virgo in your life that is very, very important to this message. Uh, 
Virgo, I feel like you're having a hard time digesting something, either physically digesting or emotionally digesting a situation. And with this Pisces card, I'm asking, um, they're, they're asking me to connect it to the symbiosis card, which is about working together, working in a symbiotic, symbiosis relationship. Okay, so here's the message, because they're actually asking me to divide it for each year. Taurus, there he is. So, that's, this Taurus energy is talking about romanticizing things a little bit more. Having a balance between the material and the emotional, the romantic. It's also talking about opening yourself up to abundance a little bit more. But I'm going to ask Spirit to clarify. I'm also hearing you need to be a little bit more creative, pile number one, in order to come up with sustainable solutions. Some of you might have an allergy to gluten and you need to stay away from gluten because it's harming your it's harming your your ability to receive. Because it's clogging up your solar plexus, which is the center of the ego. And you need that center, that, that ego center, in order to receive. You need that center to be properly aligned. I'm also hearing pound number one. There is a situation coming up, possibly with the Pisces, that is going to require you to work together. That's going to require you to work in unison with this person. Interesting. The Chariot, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Ooh, a betrayal. Okay. <clears throat> okay, pile number one. I'm getting that there is a Pisces. Oh my God, there's a Pisces here again. Okay, so Pisces is really important to this pile. P Pisces, maybe there's a relationship between a Pisces and a Virgo. Or a Pisces and a Taurus, or a Pisces and an Aquarius, because the Virgo and the Taurus came out twice, and so did the, and the Pisces just came out a third time. Okay. I'm hearing, for some of you, this Pisces is a good, a good person to be with. And for some of you, this Pisces, it's like you are leaving a Pisces energy that was, that betrayed you, that was like an immature Pisces energy, and you're leveling up to a mature Pisces energy. So it's like, and it's so funny because I was actually singing Beyonce's song right before this, and I kept hearing the phrase, because I've been hurt by a Pisces. And it's like, Pile number one, I feel like maybe you've been hurt by a Pisces before, but your true divine lover is a Pisces, but it's just because you're so turned off to Pisces energy now because you've been hurt before in the past, possibly. Um, Spirit is saying, don't be, don't close yourself off to love just because that person might be a Pisces and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to deal with another Pisces again because I don't want to get hurt again. There's this sense, there's a, there's a, a siren <clears throat> in the back of this card, and there's a sense that you, f you may feel like you're being drawn to your death, or like you be you're being drawn into your destruction, but, but spirit is saying, no, that's not true. Um.
that's not true. This, pipe, this particular water sign is not going to hurt you the way that you might think that they're going to because they're not the same as the person that you were with before is what I'm hearing. You're walking away from people who betray you and people who destroy your trust. You're in this era right now, pile number one, where you are you are going towards the things that value your energy. It's like the hard work that you've put in is is paying off. You are you are seeing your value and you're forcing other people to see your value as well. You're like, you know what? And you're going to start, and, and I keep hearing, you're giving to people who, who give to you. If you haven't done this yet, and you're like in this place where like, what is wrong with me? Why is this happening? Spirit is saying what needs to happen, if you're not doing it already, is that you need to go, go that way. <laughs> and that way is towards self-love. And towards self-care. And towards doing dealing with the people, giving to the people who give back to you or who at least recognize what you do for them because there was a sense of just betrayal and not feeling appreciated. And if you do do this, if you stop giving to the people who don't reciprocate your energy, then that's where you'll find your happiness. And this could be any relationship. This could be friendship. This could be romantic relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic specifically, but any kind of relationship. I feel like you need to be done with sneaky behavior. There's a sense of like sneaky behavior. <clears throat> so interesting because this solar eclipse I felt like was very much about letting go of things that no longer serve you. And this is a big one for a lot of people. It's the wanting to hold on to people who betray you, may, partially because you want to know why they did it. And it's like, there's this saying, it's like, if a snake bites you, are you going to chase down the snake and catch it and force it to tell you why it bit you? A snake is just a snake. A snake is going to bite you. It, it doesn't care about why it did it. So it's like, you are holding yourself back by wanting an explanation maybe or wanting to know the why and you know what's so interesting I had a dream last night with someone in my life that we have a really bad relationship and I said to her in the dream, like, what is like, what is wrong with you? Like, why cannot, why, why can we not have a good relationship? And she had like all these words that, all these words, I guess, all this trauma, kind of like written all over her body in the dream. And I saw her like take a paintbrush and dip it in blood and like put it in the wound again. And it's like, and and one of my spirits said to me, whispered in my ear in the dream. They said she likes to, she likes to, she she can't fix your relationship because she likes her wounds too much her wounds <laughs> give her her wounds validate her behavior so she's never going to choose to change she's going to continue to rub the wound in making the wound bigger because she wants to continue being the victim and i said okay and the spirit said it's up to you to just heal whatever grief is associated with this person 
and realize that they like being the victim. And it's like it's not your place anymore, pal number one, to be their victim. It's time to let go and love yourself enough to let go. It's like she was wearing those wounds like a badge of honor. And sometimes all that all that people have are their wounds. So they're so attached to their wounds that they're just going to keep making them deeper and continue to hurt other people in order to in order to give those people a, a reason to hurt them so that they can continue to make that wound deeper so that they can continue to be in the victim mindset. I feel like you may need an egg cleanse, pile number one. Like, take a, take a few eggs and, and cleanse your body with them and then put the eggs in nature. And if you do have a person like this who is not trying to heal their wounds, um, I feel like you need to let them go and work towards your own healing. But open yourself up to love just because somebody else might might maybe remind you a little bit of that person doesn't mean that that other person is going to be exactly like the person who hurt you. Sustain your energy right now. Sustain your energy in a positive vibration is what Spirit is saying to me. Especially if you are an Aquarius. Spirit is saying, especially if you are an Aquarius. Pile number one, make sure that you are balancing your energy centers. Make sure that you are balancing your energy. Spiritual cleansing, recharge, um, crystals, whatever it is that you use to balance your energy and to... Uh, Even out your energy is very important right now. Grounding yourself is very important right now. Number 21, number 44 may be very may be very important for you as well. Okay. I'm hearing it's not your it's not your job to it's not your job to force someone else to heal. It's not your job to force someone else to evolve. It's your job to simply um, observe them as a lesson of what happens when you don't evolve past this victim mindset. Um, Virgo, I feel like for you to be able to manifest what you desire, you need to do a little bit more of digesting your emotions. And what I mean by that is actually processing how you feel about things and voicing it and not suppressing it. Because it may be causing you some digestive upset. And even if you're not a Virgo, if you're, you're on to pile number one, if you're suppressing your emotions about whatever situation you're encountering, it may be causing you some serious digestive tract backup. It's time to work with energies that are in alignment with who you really want to be. It's like a lot of people talk about, you know, oh, the earth is, is, is elevating, whatever. And, you know, I really do believe to a certain degree that it's true. 
but I feel like there the the way that the world is elevating right now, especially because we are entering the time of Aquarius, is that it's forcing us to vibrate out of what no longer is aligned with our highest good. Pile number one. And I just heard just because someone's family doesn't give them the right to be abusive is what I just heard <laughs> spirits say. Just because someone's family doesn't give them a free pass. For those of you who it's maybe family. But you definitely need a cleanse, pile number one. I have, a, I have a basic cleansing on my YouTube channel. If you want to do that, try that. If that doesn't work for you, then you can always book a consultation and I can make professional cleansing baths for you as they are done in my practice. All right, pile number one, that's your message. Oops, <laughs> just got everything thrown at me. One second. I think this might be the last message for you, Pot. Hold on, I gotta clean up over here. All right, huh? Ow, that hurt. Okay, so yeah. Ooh, pile number one. Okay. Last thing, pile number one, spirit is concerned for some of you. This is not for everybody. You need to cut cords. Some of you, pile number one, you need to cut cords with these people. You need a cord cutting. You need a cord removal. Um, because if you don't cut cords now, like I said, this is for a select few of pile number one. You need to cut cords uh, with these people, with this person that hurt you. Because this person is siphoning your energy. For their own vindictive means. Okay, trying to steal your joy. It's time for you to move on from them. And set protections. Protect your energy and protect your home. And open yourself up to welcoming in new family. Welcoming in new family. I keep hearing create your own family. Create your own family. Let me see what a whole bunch of stuff came out. So let me see if any of these cards resonate for me. For some of you, this person might actually, well, may literally pass away. Not saying that that's going to happen, but saying for some of you, depending on who this person is. But I'm getting more of this is needing to cut cords with people that hurt you and making your own chosen family. With people that are, al are aligned with your energy. I see some of you for pile number one possibly like buying land with a with a couple of friends or buying a home with a couple of friends and like rooming together 
and communal living might be beneficial for you. Might be more sustainable for you, pile number one, to be in a communal communal space rather than being by yourself all the time. I'm hearing for some of you, pile number one, being in a communal space will actually stop you from going back to the people who hurt you because it's just habit at this point. It's like you get you, you you might go back to them because you are scared of being alone or don't want to be lonely or you just genuinely miss them. But it's like you need to put yourself around other people, better people. Open yourself up to new friendships with people that are aligned with who you are. Who you are now because you're very different than the person you were when you were with that person or when you were around those people you're not that person anymore all right pile number one that's your message if you have a, if you would like to re get a reading with me you can do so by booking it on highpriestesbank.com i do not offer readings via dms or email email or anything like that you can book one with me face-to-face uh, -face on highpriestessmay.com. All right. All right, Spirit. Guardian Angels of the Collective, what message do you have for pal number two? If you picked pile number two, you were drawn to the energies of Libra, the balancer, <laughs> cancer, the, the family person, Sagittarius, the philosopher, or Scorpio. I always want to call Scorpio the witch. <laughs> The occultist. Ooh. Balance, family, travel, exploration, spirit. Cancer. <laughs> cancer and cancer. Look at that. Can't make this stuff up. Okay, cancer. <laughs> Mercury. The communicator. Invitation. I am already hearing someone's going to reach out to you, pile number two. Neptune, vision. And Scorpio. <laughs> there is, oh, this one just got thrown at me, so I guess we're picking these two out too. Okay, so I'm hearing someone is going to reach out to you, pile number two. And there's something you need to investigate deeper. Okay, there's, there's Scorpio and Scorpio. So uh, maybe a uh, Cancer, Libra, Sagittarius, or Scorpio, whichever one resonates for you, is going to be reaching out to you for some reason. There's a message coming from someone. Someone's going to try to give you a vision, okay? Someone's going to try to like be like, hey... I want to run this by you. I want to see, like, if you want to, if you're interested, um, or someone may be try may try to tell you some sort of lie, or may try to have you see things their way. 
There's definitely an invitation coming for you. I want to say by Scorpio season, or it could be from a Scorpio as well. <clears throat> and then you have this energy of Taurus over here. So Taurus may be involved also. I'm hearing like if you chose these piles, it's possible that a Taurus is also going to be involved in the situation or pulled into the situation. It might involve money too, material goods. Okay, pile number two. I feel like you're reaching the pinnacle of your success very soon. Because spirit pointed me to this card. Spirit is saying keep the vision alive of your dreams don't get distracted because there is somebody there is somebody that's going to try to come in and be like oh i believed in you all along like because they're they're going to see your success and they're going to want a piece of it i'm being pointed a lot to this cancer card Cancer rules family and home life in my in my knowledge. So this could be family members that are like, oh, you got money. You got money, can I have some? <laughs> Spirit is like, make sure you keep the vision. Stay focused, don't get distracted. Don't get tricked either. Libra, wands. Libra, candles, wands. Yes, Let's see here. For Libra, there is, if you are a Libra watching this, this reading, it's time to take action. It's time to take action. Whatever it is that you have been holding off on for years, it's time to take action. If you're a Cancer watching this reading, your opportunity is coming in. Your opportunity is coming in. So if you're a Cancer or if this energy resonates with you, an opportunity is coming in for you. So you need to be ready for it. You need to be planning for it. So let's say if you've been asking for a certain amount of money for something, the opportunity is about to present itself, but you need to know and you need to be properly budgeting what that money is going to be for so that you don't waste this opportunity. you're a Sagittarius you are about to have a new beginning that is going to bring you a lot of success and I'm talking about success in the physical world not just success in the spiritual world but actually success in the physical but that success is going to require you to have structure because the world card is coming out here for you which to me is ruled by capricorn and capricorn is capricorn is like about being the goat being the boss but if you're not structured if you don't have the proper routine you're go it doesn't matter how much success comes in you're going to you're going to fumble the ball so spirit is saying you need to have structure because and you need to have a schedule 
because there's a, all the things you've ever wanted, pile number two, is about to come in for you. Especially if you're a Sagittarius, okay? For some of you, this this is going to come in. For those of you who are not Sagittarius, these opportunities are going to come in during Sagittarius season, okay? I'm hearing if you're a Sag, a Sag rising, then these things are going to come in for you during Sagittarius season. But right now, you need to you need to investigate deeper the situations around you. New financial opportunity. Financial opportunities right now is the time. Especially if you're a Libra. If you're a Libra, Cancer, Sagittarius, or Scorpio. Spirit is saying right now is the time for you to, to investigate some financial opportunities that are, that are going to put you at the pinnacle of your success. Scorpio, if you are a Scorpio or you're drawn to the Scorpio energy, you need to express gratitude for what you currently have in order for you to receive what you desire. You need to not just express gratitude verbally, but actually feel the energy of gratitude. I see a house coming for you in Scorpio season for some of you. Pile number two. The Wheel of Fortune is about to give you a house or a home. Whether it's a purchase of a home or a renting of a home. Not all of you, but some of you will receive that. For some of you, it might even be a second home in another country possibly or another state but it's time to use your magic your energy to manifest what you desire I just heard it's pile number two it's time right now it, it's time to start taking action on the things that you want to manifest so that by cancer season the opportunity will be presented and by next Sagittarius season you're gonna have everything you want so for some of you that this manifestation is bigger than just us something that can come in a few months this manifestation is something that's going to come by next Sagittarius season, by next December, by December 2025. Especially if it's about buying a house or starting a big a business. They're saying now is the time for you to start taking action on those things, the, the, the process that is going to require be required in order for you to manifest this place this this manifestation by next by next Sagittarius season cancer season is end of June beginning of July <coughs> Because it's telling me here, like, you have to start now because by cancer season, the proper people and the proper situations are going to be put in your path to be able to have what you want by next Sagittarius season. But it's up to you based on what actions you take. If you've been waiting for that time to, like, when should I start? 
the now is the time to start. Hope all that made sense <laughs> to y'all. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Just be careful with anybody's stories in your in your family unit, especially if you come from a toxic family. <laughs> be careful with any of their stories. Investigate things deeper. Invest. I just heard investigate what's going to take for you to open that business. What is it going to take for you to op buy that house or build that house? Now is the time to start investigating and to put those things into into a fact. Okay, into actually um, into action now like tomorrow literally tomorrow it's time for you to start researching get off this live afterwards and go on google and find out what is it what is it what are you going to need to register everything you need to register or what documentation are you going to need to buy that house or to buy that land or to buy whatever needs to be purchased in order for you to buy um to, to build a home whatever however this resonates for you that now is the time to start pile number two all right that's your message from spirit i hope that that helps you many blessings if you'd like to book a reading with me pile number two you can do so on highpriestessmate.com all right spirit what message is there for pile number three so this is message maybe for you if you were drawn to the energies of Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, or Aries. So if you're drawn to any of those energies, this message may be for you. I just started feeling really nauseous, problem number three. I wonder what that's all about. Hmm. Like butterflies in my stomach. Ooh. Number three, some of you might be finding out about maybe being pregnant because I'm getting like morning sickness nausea. And this heaviness in my chest so you may want to be one second I need to change my glasses so I can hone something much better angels of the collective what message do you have for call number three Gemini Leo Capricorn Aries Gemini communication invitation Okay. I'm hearing pile number three. There are some lessons you need to let go of from your past. It, and the, these past lessons are not just connected to this lifetime, but also past lives that you need to let go of in order for you to focus on your present and your future. And this is a message for you if you are a, if you are a Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, or Aries. This message may resonate with you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Gemini, Spirit is talking about needing to communicate your needs. 
needing to communicate your, your emotional needs more clearly in order for you to receive what you desire. And also communicating your physical needs as well. You know, fi like financial material needs. Not just your emotional ones, but also your your financial and material needs. And doing so is going to help you get into that energy of abundance and receiving. Leo, there is an invitation coming for you to go on a date, but you need to let go of your fear of abandonment. This might possibly be a Sagittarius that might ask you out. The Spirit is saying you need to have faith and let go of this fear of abandonment, let go of this fear of rejection. For Capricorn, this solar eclipse that we just had today is activating you <coughs> is activating your highest timeline, but it's time for you to like be open to receiving that. Yeah, get out of your, get out, like, let go of addictions, get, let go of self-sabotage. Take some time alone to relax and recharge. You've been working hard enough. You might have felt tired. Spirit is saying, like, you've worked hard enough. You need to stop being a workaholic. Is what I just heard, Capricorn. Oof. I know. I have my Capricorn. My Venus is in Capricorn, so that's hard. But these solar flares are forcing you to realize, Capricorn, that it's more productive for you to rest at times than it is to just keep going in this workaholic pattern. And you don't have to necessarily be a Capricorn. This res this could resonate, but this is especially if you are a Capricorn. This message is for you. Aries, spirit is saying it's time for you to focus on your future, um, but particularly your north your north node. So your north node, like your south node, is what who you were in the past life and the lesson that you needed to learn in the past life. Your north node is more about who you are meant to be in this lifetime. So Spirit is saying it's time for you to let go of something from the past or let go of maybe you've been in like the same job or the same pattern your entire life. And Spirit is saying it's time now to let go of that pattern and to move forward towards your future. For some of you, that might mean, Aries, like retiring from the job that you've been doing for a really long time and going into something that you're more passionate about. If you're a younger Aries, this is about going into what you're more passionate about rather than just like maybe what you think that you have to do in order to get gain respect or to keep the respect of others. Looking at things in a more creative way. Allowing life to teach you a different type a, a different type of lesson, a more creative lesson. Pile number three. 
This could be for pile number three or if you're in Aries energy. What I'm hearing overall here um, for this pile, pile number three, which is the which has the energies of Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, and Aries, is that all of all of these signs, all these these four signs, are going through kind of a similar lesson right now, and the lesson is is to communicate clearly what you desire in your relationships and in your financial life, so that you can receive that. To open yourself up to being invited, whether you're in a relationship with it, whether you're not, um, to be invited by someone to do something different. To open your heart to maybe a soulmate relationship. Or if you're currently in a relationship, to reawaken that relationship. To maybe take a little bit more time away from work. And that addictive energy of like productive, 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 and get, taking some time to really just balance yourself and give yourself some self-care and energy. To introspect, sometimes to introspect, sometimes to rest, sometimes sometime to repair yourself spiritually and physically. And some of you need to have some cycles that need to be ended. Some of you may need to move on from a current job or from a current situation that you have been in that has already expired. Or it's time for you to take a vacation from this situation and get back to work. Whichever way that resonates for you, that's up to you. I would suggest maybe first starting with a vacation and then if after you come back from your vacation if you feel great about that place then continue being there but if after you come back from that vacation you still feel like you know what then it's time for you to move forward and do something more creative something that is more um, in alignment with your passion with what you're passionate about and where you are valued more where you feel that sense of gratitude Cooperation with others will bring success, pile number three. All right, that is your new moon message, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can do so on ahighpriestessmay.com. And that's it. If you came in late, you can watch the replay uh, either on my Instagram or on YouTube. I will be posting it tomorrow on my YouTube. Uh, youtube.com slash priestess thank you for joining me and have a wonderful night